Oh, Libra, this is all about you. It's your weekly oracle and tarot card predictions from Born Without Boundaries. This is Born Without Boundaries. <clears throat> My name is Michelle. For everybody who's just discovering the channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please do click subscribe and ring that bell so you know when I go live and when I upload all that content as delicious just for you. Um, I do do lives almost every day and I do at the end of them, at the end of doing a daily, I do free readings at the end. So that's something that you might want to participate in. If you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, um, I will put one in in a couple of seconds so that the message will not be interrupted. That pisses me off to no end, so I will not let it happen to you. Uh, thank you in advance, Libra, because that actually does help to support the channel. It's like a donation but wait, by you just sitting there. <laughs> so thank you so much, and I will return in a couple of seconds. Now, some of you just sat through an awkward pause. <laughs> I hope you got a good laugh out of it. And for those of you who sat through a commercial, once again, I am extremely grateful. Libra, this is your oracle card reading. Uh, there is an extended link below, which will lead you to a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. But over here on YouTube, this is your full oracle card reading for the week of November 6th through the 13th of 2019 for Libra, Libra energies. Now, this is sun, moon, rising sign, or anywhere Libra affects your natal chart. If you know your natal chart well enough, and you can absolutely go get your natal chart for free on astrocafe.com, astrologycafe.com. Really simple, really easy. There are a lot of sites to get it done. Wherever Libra affects your chart, these are the kind of energies that you can apply. So let's do Libra for November 6th to the 13th of 2019. November 6th to the 13th of 2019. I'm sucking on a, a Ricola. They're so delicious. I love them. But my voice has been hoarse for the past couple of days. And there's no rest for people who, for people like me who do live videos six days a week on YouTube. So <clears throat> I have to have the lozenge in my throat. So that's why I'm sucking on something. I don't mean any disrespect by it. Okay? Libra. General energies for Libra. November 6th through the 13th of 2019. General energies for Libra. November 6th of 2019. Virgo got this card too, but not as their crowning energy. You're getting it as your crowning energy, which is telling me there's something that you don't want to talk about. There's something that you don't want to say. There's something that you want to keep to yourself. And secrets are great sometimes. We're going to do the full spread to see if this is one of those times. It could very well be, Libra, that you're watching and you're waiting and you just want to see what's happening. But I have this energy coming through when I was thinking of you guys in the car and it was an era of mystery. And so Libra, maybe you're hypnotizing somebody with your absolute effervescent charm and beauty. And one of the ways that you're intriguing people is by not giving away too much, by not telling too much. That, that does imply that there is something that you're holding on to that you will eventually want to share. But I wonder if there's some communication between you and Virgo and boop, I'll attach the reading right above here so that you can go watch it. But they got this card too, and what ended up coming out in their extended was there's definitely something that they didn't want anybody to know. No one needs to know right now. That might be the title of your reading this week um, because nobody does need to know right now, and maybe just maybe you're getting familiar, you're getting familiar with it yourself. But there's this, uh, there's this general energy of sing your own song, but it's upside down. Which, and I don't feel like you're actually being squashed by anything. I think you're, you're intentionally inverted and you're inverted almost like you're hanging upside down to see things from a different perspective because you want to gain more insight and information. And that's fair, Libra. That's fair. But you know me. I'm nosy, so I got to keep going. Libra for November 6th through the 13th of 2019. Libra for November 6th through the 13th of 2019. Three more cards are popping out for you and they're all in reverse. But my cards are not all in reverse. Love is all around you. I feel like you're keeping to yourself and you feel very isolated this week. Take, a, take the lead. 
This means you're being rooted. You're planting yourself. You found where you want to be. Libra. Let's be honest. Can we just be honest for a second? Have you met somebody? Have you met somebody that you just don't want to talk about yet? Or do you have an, an opportunity coming up? Hold on one second. So be peace, Libra, is upside down as well. But that's your card. This is a Libran card, which tells me that you are not acting yourself. You are doing something out of character, which means that you were probably doing something more for yourself than anybody else. Probably on the down low, you probably found something or somebody that really matters a lot to you and that you want to make roots with, stay with, grow with, but you don't want people to know. You do not want it to, to announce that. You, do, you don't want to let people know. This could also be trouble, trouble in the household. Trouble where you have taken root. Feeling stuck. Feeling like you can't get away. Let's move on. I, I, I'm not moving on. I'm, I just want to expand on the message. Because love is all around is upside down. And I'm just feeling like you may be feeling very isolated and trapped in a situation where you've been stuck for a while. And you feel, and this is why you're not singing your own song, you're repressed. You, you can't be yourself in this situation or in this circumstance. Or this is intentional and you are intentionally not wanting to be yourself and you're intentionally staying still and staying stagnant and staying away from people, keeping yourself isolated, which is why be peace is upside down because this is not you. It is, it is definitely counter to the way you would normally behave. Interesting. Two more cards fell out right on top of B piece. I might need some clarifiers before we go over to tarot too. Um, believe in yourself and then let it shine. <laughs> this is just so interesting. Um, Essentially, there's a conflict of interest or something that doesn't feel right to you, doesn't feel good or that you want to hide or have to hide. And there's the encouragement of believe in yourself and let it out. There's this feeling in you, Libra, of being very divided. And maybe that's why the scales are topsy-turvy this week, because you're extremely divided. A part of you, maybe should I stay or should I go? Or part of you just simply knows what you want, but you can't allow yourself to want it out loud because it's something that is forbidden, right? And this is the call to, hey, and this is a Virgo card again. Virgo is popping up in your reading, and this is telling me that in Scorpio season, something is going to be unearthed about a Virgo. You could have a connection with a Virgo that is actually coming to an end, or a connection with a Virgo that's being revealed. Maybe there was something on the DL between you and this uh, squirrely whirly. But it has more to do with how you feel about yourself and how much on your side you are when it comes to anything that's even dramatic. You know, maybe something is happening, it's going down right now that is making you feel like your whole world is uprooted. That everything that you've established is coming undone or that you're stuck in a home where there is no love and you want so badly to cast some light on another situation or something else that you're doing and you want so badly to just come out and be yourself and to work you have been working very hard you have been working very hard and i think that in terms of work you are spotlighted you might actually be getting a promotion or a raise or get noticed at work this week um, it's with your home life and your love life that something is being unearthed and is uh, unbalanced. I want to pick a few more cards for you and then share them with you from the other angle. Libra, Libra, November 6th 
through the 13th of 2019. Libra, please, Libra, 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 Libra. You could have, this is Scorpio season, I think, helping you believe in yourself. Maybe because you realize that everybody else isn't perfect too. And if you can accept their imperfections, why can't you accept your own? Libra, you don't want to talk either. The cards are very difficult. Yeah, you're all kinds of trapped in yourself. Nothing is wasted. Okay, that's coming a little bit more clear. Dream the world into being. You're definitely hiding something. See, this is my skeletons in the closet card, right? The skeletons look back. You're feeling guilty about something that happened in your past. You're feeling guilty because maybe just maybe um, something that had happened between you and somebody else in a different situation in a different time. This is Virgo again, Virgo energy coming up. And I think something is being revealed and coming out either about somebody that you're involved with or in, engaged with. Yeah, or um, or it came out about you. And the bottom line is this, it's unearthed you. It's shaken up what was your foundation and your roots. And this is it. This is the, the, the lie detector, super spy, PI, that is Scorpio season infused with Mercury retrograde. Somebody has discovered something that you were trying to work on underneath their nose, behind their backs. Maybe you were squirreling money away. Right? Maybe you were saving without them knowing it, or maybe you were working on a different relationship behind their back. Whatever it was, Libra, the truth is coming out this week. And I think that um, the reaction is going to be almost surprisingly gentle from whoever is finding it out. Um, you will actually maybe get actually, if you're dealing with a Virgo, you might get a second chance with this person. Um, there seems to be something that, yeah, you were working on and keeping to yourself and you were hiding it. You were hiding something that you were working on. Okay, this seems like a love triangle. I'm just gonna say it out. I'm just gonna say it out. This seems like a love triangle, but maybe, maybe that's because I'm not that clever, right? That could be, and there could be something more complicated going on, in which case I know that the tarot extended reading will reveal it. But the bottom line is there is something that you have been feeling caged about, sort of lost your, your, okay, lost your, desire to sing because you felt trapped and you felt held back caged in and you didn't feel yourself there was something that you were working on behind the scenes by yourself to make you feel more yourself again to help bring yourself back to give you something to have faith in and something to enjoy to bring back a part of you that maybe was uh from your childhood or from when you were younger okay Okay, so this does seem to be a little love triangle-y. It feels to me like even though you may be in a relationship now, somebody from your past came back and it made you feel really good because the relationship that you were in right now wasn't giving you all that you needed to be given and it was making you feel trapped and suffocated. And somebody from your past is going to sort of renew this feeling of how good you feel about yourself. I think something is going to be revealed. It may be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Whatever it is, it is somebody that is almost out of memory, right out of your memory. And it's making, it's coming back. It's making you feel like the past isn't gone. It's not completely, it wasn't completely wasted. Anything that I did or felt when I was younger wasn't completely thrown away. You could just be reminiscing in your head this week because it's Mercury retrograde. You could just be reminiscing this week about how your life was when you were younger. And, oh my God, how did I get stuck here? Like you're, but there is something about that reminiscence or something that's coming back up from the past that's or maybe even revealing itself from the past that is making your life now feel like it's not 
It's almost spotlighting all those things that you're not happy about. And that makes me think that there is something like that you need to say out loud or you need to admit to yourself this week, Libra. Almost this sense of dissatisfaction with what you are or who you're with or what you're doing. Um, the message from Spirit is all your hard work has paid off. It wasn't wasted. The life that you've built is a life, I guess, externally that other people would value and probably envy. But I do have a feeling that there could be a potential, there could have been a subverted relationship that was started to make yourself feel better and like you had life again. You could be engaged or involved with somebody who is significantly younger than you or your spouse. Um, somebody who made you feel alive again by giving you that gentle touch that I feel like you may have been starved of for quite some time. And Libra, all of this was stuff that you were keeping to yourself because you insist upon making other people happy and making sure that everybody else is accommodated. And all of these things were going on behind the scenes and you weren't telling anybody. And the reason why you weren't telling anybody because A, you didn't want their judgment and B, you, you didn't want anybody to tell you to stop because it was helping you feel good. It's almost like, um, they don't feel like it's a drug. But I don't, I don't, I feel like it's an, it's another relationship. It's another person, or maybe you've been moonlighting, doing another job or some, some work, uh, you know, you know, taking, I don't know, taking improv classes at night or taking screenplay classes at night and telling your spouse you were doing something else. You were taking classes, but you never really told them what you were taking classes in. There is this sense of something being revealed that that was your plan for the future and it, it wasn't something that you could share with who you're with you needed to keep it now that could be you couldn't share it with your parents you couldn't share it with your best friends this is definitely feeling though like caged love like you felt trapped and stuck where you were and that something it's almost like the love had ran run out and because the run love had run out but you couldn't uh, get yourself to break somebody else's heart or break up with somebody else. Scorpio season is bringing this all to a head. It's shining the light on what you were trying to hide, what you were maybe even trying to hide from yourself. But this week, there's, there's full reveal. Somebody has caught wind of what you are doing. And it could be a very beautiful thing because they may have never known those aspects of you. And it could very well be you were keeping yourself in your own little private hell. And now that everything is out in the open, somebody's going to be more accepting of you and maybe even helpful toward you than you would even imagine them to ever have been. There does seem to be unexpected forgiveness here. Uh, tenderness where you would not have assumed tenderness would have come from. Let me turn the camera around so that you can see the cards. Hold on. There's your spread. And this is what I'm saying. Transformation is beautiful. Bring a gentle touch. You know, it's either somebody who is actually helping you out that you didn't expect them to be so helpful. They're being more gentle and tender toward this transition of yours than, than you would have ever expected them to be. And shining the light, look it. You can see right here the direction of this almost like fog light being thrown upon work. A way that you feel about yourself, something that you've accepted about yourself, something that you may have felt all this hard work was wasted and you tried to keep it, you tried to keep it hidden. You could be working on something like a book. You could be working on something. You're definitely working on something that you tried to keep from somebody else. And now this could be anything from an artistic endeavor to being in the closet, right? Or to hiding a lover. Whatever it was, you were looking this this is uh, something that you intend to be part of your future. It's something that you hope. It's a it's a hope that you have inside of you. And this indicates that it's not just a hope. It's something that you actually started working on. But it's it's being revealed this week. That's an FYI. <laughs> you might want to be forewarned about that. Because look what came back here. This feeling of being stuck and almost left just cold, just coldness, and this side is all warmth. 
you know, and this is where I feel like this earthy, homey, growing, growth, fire energy coming through. And over here, there's a lot of coldness. You felt stuck and removed and isolated and maybe even drained, Libra, by everybody around you. And you just didn't want to share what you were up to because you probably would have felt judged. You probably would have felt like, um, that, that, like, like you would not have been accepted. But here, right, or, or maybe it's just that you've worked very, very hard on something, right? You've put a lot of time, energy, and effort into something and you don't feel like it's being received or appreciated by anybody who's supposed to appreciate you. But honestly, I don't feel like it's just that. I feel like there is a specific situation going on here, almost a love triangle, a love triangle. Uh, yeah. And there you are flipped upside down, not really being yourself in the place where you are, but not being, not being, want, even wanting to sing your song because you don't want anybody to know. And where is your song really going to? Your song is going to this new place. So you, Libra, you've already decided that you want to move on. You've already decided your direction, but you were scared to come out about it. You were keeping this on the low. This, this week, you either get the, ner the nerve or the courage to share your truth with somebody, or they find out. And their reaction is surprisingly tender. Surprisingly tender and allowing. This, it could very well be that this person is ready to let you go because they need it too. Or they're ready to have a new start with you, accept you for this new person that you are. But to me, it almost seems like you're starting a new life with a new person. That's what it feels like. And I'm trying to skate around it to be polite and be nice. And I, I need to not do that. It's just, I know your sensibilities, Libra, and I understand that you don't want to hurt anybody, but it does seem like you've moved on. You've made a new choice with a new life. Somebody new, somebody new, a new life, a new, a new way of being. And you're going to be very kind about it. Like, well, you're, I don't think that you're, you listen, you may be opening up to somebody about what was, what has been going on in your life. That would be the highest ground for you to be on. But no, I don't, I think it's revealed by other means. Somebody discovers it is what I'm saying. Unless, because these are both Scorpio cards. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're going to find out. They're going to, they're going to unearth whatever it was you were trying to keep from them. Hmm. And there's a liberation here because you wanted to find your voice again. You didn't want your voice to be squashed. You see how there's these two, you're looking in the same direction, but one's upside down. This is you here. You're upside down. And this coming out, this is what you care about. This is what you're leaving behind. And this is where you're going. A new direction, a new start. If you're in a secure relationship, they're going to be a lot more supportive than you think. If you are not in a supportive relationship and you're in a relationship that you feel stuck in, this just is an implication that you're starting a new life with somebody new. I need a lot of clarification, especially if you're cross watchers. I'm sure you'll want it too. Um, hop on over to Vimeo. I'm going to do a full tarot card spread and get into the love specifically. All right, Libra, I'll see you over there.